Constance Campbell Bennett was an American actress. Early life, Bennett was born in New York City, the daughter of actor Richard Bennett and actress Adrienne Morrison, whose father was the stage actor Louis Morrison, a performer of English, Spanish, Jewish, and African ancestry. Constance's younger sister was prominent actress Joan Bennett. Their other sibling was actress-dancer Barbara Bennett. Career, after some time spent in a convent, Bennett went into the family business. Independent, cultured, ironic and outspoken, Constance, the first Bennett sister to enter motion pictures, appeared in New York-produced silent movies before a meeting with Samuel Goldwyn led to her Hollywood debut in Cytheria. She abandoned a burgeoning career in silence for marriage to Philip Plant in 1925. She resumed her film career after their divorce, with the advent of talking pictures, and with her delicate blonde features and glamorous fashion style, she quickly became a popular film star. In the early 1930s, Bennett was second to only Greta Garbo in audience popularity polls, and for a short time, she was the highest paid actress in Hollywood. So successful was Bennett during this time, that a KO, Bennett's home studio at the time, controlled the careers of actresses Anne Harding and Helen Twelvetrees in a similar manner, hoping to duplicate Bennett's success. In 1931, a short-lived contract with Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer earned her $300,000 for two movies which included The Easiest Way and made her one of the highest paid stars in Hollywood. Warner Brothers paid her the all-time high salary of $30,000 a week for board. In 1931, Richard Bennett, her father, was also cast in this film. The next year she moved to AKO, where she acted in What Price Hollywood. Directed by George Cukor, an ironic and at the same time tragic behind-the-scenes looks at the old Hollywood studio system, in which she portrayed waitress Mary Evans, who becomes a movie star. Lowell Sherman co-starred as the film director who discovers her, and Neil Hamilton as the wealthy playboy she marries. It was a critical and box office hit at the time of its release. The film Morning Glory had been written with Bennett's in mind for the lead role, but producer Pandro S. Berman gave the role to Katherine Hepburn, who won an Academy Award for her performance. Bennett next showed her versatility in the likes of Our Betters, Bed of Roses with Pert Kelton, After Tonight. The Affairs of Cellini, After Office Hours with Clark Gable, The Original Topper, The Ultimate Madcap Family Comedy Merrily We Live and Two-Faced Woman. By the 1940s, Bennett was working less frequently in film but was in demand in both radio and theater. Shrewd investments had made her a wealthy woman, and she founded a cosmetics and clothing company. After World War II, she had a major supporting role in Warner Brothers as the unsuspected opposite Claude Rains, in which she played the program director who helps prove that Rains is guilty of murder. She made no films from the early 1950s until 1965 when she made a comeback in the film Madame X playing Lana Turner's mother-in-law. Shortly after filming was completed, Bennett collapsed and died from a cerebral hemorrhage at the age of 60. In recognition of her military contributions, and as the wife of Theron John Coulter, who had achieved the rank of Brigadier General, she was buried in Arlington National Cemetery. Coulter died in 1995 and was buried with her. Bennett has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her contribution to motion pictures, at 6250 Hollywood Boulevard, a short distance from the star of her sister, Joan. Personal life Bennett was married five times. In 1921 Bennett eloped with Chester Hearst Muirhead of Chicago, the son of a surgeon. The marriage was annulled in 1923. Bennett eloped with millionaire socialite Philip Morgan Plant in 1925. They divorced in 1929. In 1932, Bennett brought back from Europe a three-year-old child, whom she claimed to have adopted and named Peter Bennett Plant. In 1942, however, during a battle over a large trust fund established to benefit any descendants of her former husband, Bennett announced that her adopted son actually was her natural child by plant, born after the divorce and kept hidden in order to ensure that the child's biological father did not get custody. During the court hearings, the actress told her former mother-in-law and her husband's widow that if she got to the witness stand she would give a complete account of her life with plant. 
the matter was settled out of court. She captured numerous headlines in 1931, when she married one of Gloria Swanson's former husbands, Henri La Bailey, the Marquis de la Caudre de la Fellas, a French nobleman and film director. Bennett and de la Fellas founded Bennett Pictures Corporation and co-produced two films which were the last filmed in Hollywood in the two-strip Technicolor process, Le Gong, Dance of the Virgins filmed in Bali, and Killer the Killer Tiger, filmed in Indochina. They were divorced in Reno, Nevada in 1940. In 1941, Bennett married the actor Gilbert Rowland, with whom she had two daughters, Lorinda and Christina. They were divorced in 1946. In June 1946, Bennett married U.S. Air Force Colonel John Theron Coulter. After her marriage, she concentrated her efforts on providing relief entertainment to U.S. troops still stationed in Europe, winning military honors for her services. Bennett was the aunt of Morton Downey Jr., the son of Constance's sister Barbara. Filmography References External links Constance Bennett website, Constance Bennett at the Internet Movie Database, Constance Bennett at the TCM Movie Database, Constance Bennett at the Internet Broadway Database, Constance Bennett at All Movie, Constance Bennett Photo Gallery, Photographs and Literature.